Yo, I got our ticket out of here. Rumor is this guy is sitting on at least 300K. Boom! That's her guy. Wait, is he blind? We messed up to rob a blind guy, isn't it? Just because he's blind don't mean he's insane, bro. Guys, money's probably in there. Who's there? Stay right there. How many of you are there? <laughs> just me, man, all right? Just let me go, please! I am like, I feel like I'm sitting next to the master. I'm talking to the master. Um, Thank you, so much. you know, amazing, amazing. Like, I have to say, I didn't want to see the film, but now that I see it, I feel like there's some life lessons in it. So, I want to know why Detroit? Why the city of Detroit? Why Detroit? It's, I love that city. I mean, mm -hmm. all of my characters, even in Evil Dead, my characters were from Michigan. They were from Flint, actually, in Evil Dead. Mm -hmm. um, and this time they're from Detroit. I think it's because I'm from Latin America. You know, I mm -hmm. live in Los Angeles now, but I live all my life in Uruguay. And Uruguay, you know, it's like one of the cities that we were great in the 50s. Mm -hmm. and, and then from that point now, it's just all downhill. And we're doing good, but it's third world, right? So mm -hmm. you, it's a different world than some, than some parts of the States. Mm -hmm. So I think among all the cities that I've known, Detroit is the one that makes me feel like home because it's really uh, my generation, just like my generation in Detroit grew up with your parents telling you like, oh, the best times are behind you and mm -hmm. now everything went to hell, and um, which is very unfair to say that right, right. To, to the young generation. So those were characters that I knew, you know, just kids were people that I knew that I grew up with somehow. And they were robbers, really, literally, but at least if it wasn't because they're robbing houses, I think the rest it's pretty realistic of mm -hmm. why, what's my experience. My experience is not going to the lake and spring break and all that right. that you see in most movies. It wasn't that, so these characters are closer to to the people that I knew in my life, right? Yeah, and so for me, I got a lot of life lessons, seriously, out of this. Uh, <laughs> one is don't ever underestimate people. Yeah. Uh, and two is never ever um, assume that if you do good, uh, good things will happen to you. Yeah. And I think last but not least is to really um, fight for what you want, because Rocky's character was, she was a fighter. So in yeah. doing this film, what life lessons do you want people to walk away with? I think it's like you said, there's, there's many, and, and some of them maybe I don't want them to walk away with that, like particularly the one that the blind man has that vision, right, that mm -hmm. kind of true, and it's truly happened to a lot of people that it's not because you do great in your life and you're a very good mm -hmm. person, life will reward you, it unfortunately doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. And um, and on, on his point of view, it's like he's fed up with waiting, and he's just not going to wait with life just rewarding him, he's just going to go and take what he what he wants, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, is it like any theme in a movie, Movie should have two sides mm -hmm. and you choose which one is the one that you believe in mm -hmm. and the, which side you agree so that's why I don't think there's a lesson and particularly themes are usually ambiguous and um, it's really up to the audience to decide I mean obviously don't break into people's houses is <laughs> <laughs> a big lesson that right. I guess people will learn but uh, but the rest are just open for you to decide right? mm.
right now. I want to know. I felt like there should be a don't breathe too. <laughs> Good, uh, yeah, at one point, that. I was like, there's got to be a don't breathe too. So what's next for you? Um, I don't know yet. I mean, honestly, the things for me, like movies and stories, I have to just fall in love with the stories. Mm -hmm. It's just like you never know until you you know the story, right? It's just like you, if you're looking for love, you never know what you're looking for until you meet that person. It's yeah. the same thing for me with stories. I really take my time. My favorite directors make movies every five years, so mm -hmm. I don't mind waiting and, and until the, the right story is because my, my biggest fear would be to disappoint my audience and show them a movie that is just meh, down the middle. So I really try to think do things that are unique and that are powerful and, and that are just different from just the batch of movies that Hollywood is producing. And so that takes time and I will see. We'll see what, what, what well, comes our way. Thank you for taking time, and I'm going to tell everybody to go and see <laughs> Thank it. you. Please do. That's yes. how we get our, our Don't Read too. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. By going people to watch the first one. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah. So.